Hi, I'm Tim Scarborough, and this is three minutes of encouragement from the Word of God. How does God reveal himself to you? You know, God can do that through his very word right here. He can reveal himself to you uh, through preaching, uh, through a song, sometimes through circumstances. But do you know around the entire globe, the planet Earth, God reveals himself through his very creation? Take a look at what it says in Romans in chapter 1 and starting in verse 20. It says, for since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So this passage in Romans is talking about the fact that everyone in the world really is without excuse because they can look around them and see the creation of God and know that there has to be a creator. But instead, often man in his sinfulness and in his wickedness, he's done things such as looked at a bird and saw the magnificence of a bird, and he fashioned an idol out of the bird and worshiped the creation rather than the creator. When I go out and about, and I love to hike, and I love to get up in the mountains. And there are times when I'm reminded of moments with my dad as a young boy, we'd be out hunting or fishing and he would always pause and he would take a moment and he'd be looking around at the mountains or down a canyon or across the ocean or a river, a lake. And he would just say, wow, isn't God amazing that he created all of this for us to enjoy? You see, we don't worship the creation, we worship the creator. And so when I'm out and about, I look at different things, such as a tree. You know, what does that tree tell me about God? What does it remind me of? I think about the mountain when I look at the mountain and it is a place known as God's refuge and God's blessing and God's presence. There is so much about creation. When the wind is blowing through the trees, I think of the Holy Spirit and how the wind of the Spirit blows in and through our lives. There is so much in creation. If we just take the moment to look around us, we'll see God's goodness and His blessings in His creation.